Metals are the most generous of atoms as they donate their one and only electron forming positive charged atoms called cations. They are like nuns serving the needy. Metals easily lose their electrons and end up being positively charged cations in a sea of negatively charged electrons. When electrons move like flocks of birds or schools of fish, an electric current is created, generating a magnetic field like a wind. Metals form most of the rock that forms Earth. The Earth's nucleus core is very rich in iron, and due to its internal rotating currents, it is like the magnet in a compass. Your planet is a compass that allows you to navigate the universe. The halogens, like fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine, are the most greedy of atoms, as they steal donations from anyone. When stealing electrons from alkali metals, they form negative charged atoms called anions, leaving the donor metals as a positively charged cation. Anions and cations, having opposite charge, attract and bond, losing their charge and form salts. Salts easily separate and dissolve in water into their ionic forms, forming electrolytes that conduct electricity like solid metal does. The halogens, like oxygen and sulfur, are less greedy than the halogens, generously sharing two of their electrons with other atoms and with themselves. When they share it with themselves, they form very tight double bonds that give off much energy when broken, like sticks crackling when they break. When oxygen shares its two electrons with hydrogen, water is formed to form life. You are a carbon sponge soaked with water. Oxygen makes up 20% of every breath of breeze you breathe. Nitrogen and his brothers phosphorus and arsenic are the least greedy willing to share three of their electrons with other atoms and with themselves. When they share it with themselves, they embrace in very tight triple bonds that explode with great force when broken, like bombs. Nitrogen makes up 80% of the air you fly in. Carbon and her sister silicon are the most social atoms of all atoms. Carbon forms chains like in life, sheets like in graphite, and crystals like in diamonds. Humans are mostly carbon chains dressed up in hydrogen, decorated by nitrogen, and tied up by oxygen. Silicon, tin, and lead are all members of this family. Silicon forms sand, glass, silicone, and computer chips. Carbon is like the words life and diamonds. Silicon is like the words computers and glass. Light. Light, like the airwaves of sound your ears hear, are space waves of photons your eyes see. Electromagnetic waves are like trains, all the very same length and all traveling at the very same speed. What differentiates long waves from short waves are the wagons the trains pull. The shorter the wave, the shorter and taller the wagons. The longer the wave, the longer and lower the wagons. If wagons be photons, then a wagon's height 
is the photon's frequency. If you were standing by the tracks, the frequency of passing wagons is the frequency of the photons. The number of trains is the wave's intensity. Trains with long, low wagons behave like waves. Trains with short, tall wagons behave like particles. An electromagnetic wave, a train of photons, behaves like sound and water waves. Each photon carries an amount of energy depending on its frequency. High frequency photons carry more energy than low frequency photons. Short tall wagons carry more energy than long low wagons. You can carry more water in a tall narrow glass than in a wide shallow plate. Depending on what you measure and how you measure it, photons behave either like waves or like particles. The long wagons called heat, microwaves, radio waves, and light behave like waves. The short wagons called gamma rays and x-rays behave like particles. Gamma rays the size of an atom's nucleus, are emitted from the nucleus when there are great disruptions inside it. They have 10,000 times more energy than is required to knock an electron away from its nucleus. Neutrons breaking away from their nucleus emit a gamma ray before they give birth to a free proton and a free electron, like sparklers to celebrate the birth of twins. X-rays, the size of atoms, are emitted by nucleus disruptions or when electrons drop to their lowest energy levels. They are like the sound of balls falling off a roof. Ultraviolet and visible light, the size of molecules and viruses, are emitted when electrons drop to a lower energy level. They are like the sound of balls bouncing downstairs and each sound has different color from violet to red. Heat, called infrared waves, the size of viruses and cells, are emitted like sparks when molecules and cells rub against each other. Microwaves, the size of bugs, and radio waves, the size of towns, are caused by accelerating and decelerating flows of free electrons, like in a radio antenna or in a star.